What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to my NFL 2023 uh, predictions. It's week four, honestly going a bit slower than it was a couple weeks ago, um, but we're back, and uh, yeah, I guess let's just start from the bottom this time in the NFC. Now, the Giants and the Seahawks, this is going to be either a complete, just terrible, terrible game all around, or it's going to be very good. That's what both of these teams have been throughout the season um, so far, and it's really a coin flip. I mean, the Giants were so bad last week, and the Seahawks, they beat the Panthers, and they have a bunch of injuries, but beating, beating the Panthers isn't that impressive. It's in New York, and uh, I'm just going to go with the Seahawks, but I really have no clue on that one. Now, the Niners and the Cardinals... One team is undefeated, and one team just beat an undefeated team. Thank you, Cardinals. That was absolutely wonderful. And are the Cardinals going to do it again? No. I don't think that they can. Well, I mean, they can. Like, they, t they really tore up the Cowboys' defense, which was the number one defense in the NFL. And the 49ers' defense is also really freaking good. So, yeah. it's It's tough. I think the Cardinals are probably going to win either later in the season or right now. Probably going to split the series if they're going to get a win. So, I'll just do 49ers for now because, yeah. Now, the Buccaneers and the Saints. I actually don't know how long Derek Carr is out for, but I know that it's not as bad as we uh, originally thought, so that's good. Um, and the Saints, they, uh, well, really weren't good the entire game, even though it may have looked like they were good through two or three quarters, whatever it was, um, but it was just a punt return, that's really all it was, and defense was playing pretty decent until the end, which, it's not how you win a football game, and then the Buccaneers, they had a good enough defense to stop the Eagles from absolutely destroying them, which very well could have happened, um, uh, but I mean, they made a couple of stops only because the Eagles were, you know, trying to get back into the groove. So Buccaneers really didn't do anything. Their offense looked terrible, except for Mike Evans. Dear God, that was insane. Um, well, he was dropping a bunch of uh, passes, but except for that one. Uh, so, <coughs> it's really a coin flip. But, <sighs> mm, I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. It's It's tough. I know the Saints usually beat them, but... Tom Brady isn't here, so I'll just go with Big Baker Mayfield. Well, ugh. man, this one is tough. It really, really is. Now, the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, it's the Eagles are getting better and better and better, and they're already undefeated, and they weren't even looking as good as they can be. And the Commanders, well... Commanders aren't looking that great, if I'm being honest. Um, really not. Um, so, I think Eagles taking the dub here. Now, the Vikings and the Panthers. Once again, the Vikings are getting a chance against another 0-3 team to maybe get that one win. And it can't be that hard, Vikings. I mean, the Panthers are absolutely terrible. Like, it's... It, it would be pretty insane if the Vikings lost this. It's going to be a one-score game because it's the Vikings. But you got to beat the Panthers. You know, it's the Adam Thielen Bowl, Adam Thielen gain, and Vikings, that would, oh, you got to beat the Panthers. You just have, that's a game you have to win. Now, the Lions, Kitty Goes Meow, and the good old Packers, they played a game in really only, the, like, the last... 10 minutes of the game last uh, week, and that's about it. Uh, the Lions, they bounced back from loss to Seattle, and looking pretty good. They were able to stop uh, B. John Robinson and Tyler Algier, which is pretty dang impressive, and that's really why the Falcons lost. Um, now, uh, I'm, are the Packers, I mean, this is a really big divisional game. It's on Thursday, tomorrow. Um, as of recording, uh, first time I'm actually doing this after the Thursday night, or before the Thursday night game, so maybe the first time I'll get it wrong. 
Um, but it's in Green Bay, and I think Packers are going to win. They want revenge from last year in Green Bay. Lions probably going to beat them later in the season. Lions looking not that, you know, stable. They've had some success, some unsuccess, and unsuccess? Is that a word in that sentence? I don't know. Um, but I think Packers are going to take it home this uh, game. Now, the New England Patriots heading down to Dallas, Texas, where this was just a hilarious game for the Cowboys. I mean, they lost to the Cardinals. What? The Cardinals? That is just hilarious. And then the Patriots. Um, they were good on special teams and on defense, and that's just about it. So, I mean, they won the game, but I, I'm i assuming, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Cowboys, like, won with negative points by the offense and, like, 10 billion points by the defense. The defense is going to roll straight through Mac Jones. I mean... It's, yeah, it's going to be a sad game for Mac Jones and that Patriots uh, offense. Now we got, um, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Another 0-3 bowl game. I mean, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be bad. This really is. And I mean, it's just which team is worse and it's the team that either just got blown out by 50 points and gave up 70 points when their defense is supposed to be at least good, or the team that uh, Justin Fields, um, yeah, who gave up 41 points, so really, they're pretty close. Well, not really at all, but <laughs> uh, did you know Taylor Swift was at that game? Yeah, I bet you didn't know. Taylor Swift was at the Bears game. That was kind of crazy. Taylor Swift, wow, Taylor Swift, kind of crazy. Taylor Swift, did, wait, did you hear about Taylor Swift? Um... No, but Taylor Swift's not going to be here, probably, I would hope. Um, but it'd probably be the most interesting thing in Chicago. Um, so, it's just, I like the Broncos more. Broncos have been playing the more competent, I guess. I mean, they nearly, they got a Hail Mary, and when you're competent enough to do that, either you're lucky or you're skilled, and I'm guessing the Broncos are a bit more lucky there. And, um... So, yeah, I have no frickin' clue what's going to happen here. Wow. Um, yeah, no, no, no clue. I mean, if the Rams are good enough to beat, you know, the Seahawks, um, ah, Minshew Mania, baby, let's go. Minshew Mania, yes, sir, Minshew Mania, woo. And now we're heading to good old England. We got the UK. Um, we got the first international game in, uh, London, England, United Kingdom, yeah. It's all the same thing, basically. Uh, yeah, it's really not, but whatever. Um, uh, Jaguars hosting their first of two straight, I'm pretty sure it's straight, um, home games in, the well, that gets the second one isn't, isn't a home game. Um, but this one is going to be Toy Storied, so I'm not going to watch that, just so you know. And... Well, uh, this one's tough. Are the Jaguars really going to be able to stop Bijan and Tyler Algier? I don't know. I really don't know about that one. But, I mean, are the Falcons really going to be able to stop Trevor Lawrence? The Texans did it last week, so... Yeah, I'll, uh, man. You know what? I'm going to go with the Jaguars here. Um, because I think that they're just not not going to have a chance against the Bills next week. I think it's next week, but their next game in London. And I think they got to at least get one win against the international crowd. You got you, you got to have at least one win, and I think this is going to be the one. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Falcons won whatsoever. Now, next up we got Zach Wilson against Patrick Mahomes. And, yeah, I mean, this is just the same game for the Chiefs. Just in New York, or New Jersey, my bad, I guess. Now the Raiders and the Chargers. Classical, um, uh, divisional show. yeah, divisional showdown. Both of them are one and two. One of them got here much different way uh, than the other. One was on the verge of probably not making the playoffs, and the other one beat the Broncos. So, uh, yeah. Ah... Uh, 
I feel this is really important. Either team could win. I don't know how uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is doing. He might be out. I don't know. But Chargers, they should win, so I'm going to pick them. But don't we always say that? But I said that last week, and they won, so who knows? Now the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Tennessee Titans. Ah, I mean, the, the Bengals showed that they can win football games. Um, but just, just please, dear God, please do not, just don't make Joe Burrow injured. I mean, you remember the Bengals-Titans playoff game where Joe Burrow got sacked nine times and they still won? I hope that doesn't happen this time. Not the winning part for the Bengals, because I think the Bengals are going to win, but just the fact, well, I mean, that, hmm... This, again, it's so tough because the Titans, they beat the Chargers, and the Titans are absolutely dog poop. But, uh, this is tough. I'm going to say the Bengals. I'm going to go with the Bengals. Go with my gut, I think. Uh, yeah, sure, go with the Bengals. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the uh, Houston Texans, two teams that play in the NFL. I know that one team is... Not 0 and 3, and the other one is also not 0 and 3, which both of them probably should be. But I've been liking the Texans; I really have been. But how well are they going to do against T.J. Watt? Uh, you never know. I think the Steelers probably going to win this game. T.J. Watt's going to ra- wreak havoc on C.J. Stroud. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured. That would be awful. Um, but I think it's just going to be another good game by C.J. Stroud, and uh, yeah. I hope Texans win, I really do, Um, but Steelers, they're probably going to win. Now, the Baltimore Ravens and the defense of the Cleveland Browns, which one is going to be better? Oh, yeah, the the Browns also have an offense. Um, Forgot about that part for a second. I mean, Deshaun Watson looked, well, I'll say good, except for this. (laughs) Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think, I mean, the Browns' defense is looking insane, and the Ravens' offense, it's looking, it's it's looking, well, I mean, they have injuries, like, everywhere. Um, it is really tough. I mean, the Ravens lost last week against the Colts, and I don't know how big that's going to play into this week, but I'm going to say that the Ravens are beating the Browns, um, because, you know, they're probably pissed off after last week. You know, they are very, very injured, so that would be a factor that people would be saying the Browns should win, which is true. Um, but, I mean, the Browns, they've been looking good, but they lost to their uh, divisional opponent, and I think they're going to be winning the games that they should be winning, and I don't know if they absolutely should be winning this game. So, Yeah. I think Ravens going to be winning. Now, the Miami Dolphins. Holy hell. That was insane. I mean, they had 70 points with eight and a half minutes left, and they couldn't get, like, a field goal to tie the all-time record, which I looked it up, and apparently it's 72, but I swear it was 73. Maybe I was just looking at the post-Super Bowl era, but I swear it was 73. Um... And the Bills, who have also been looking very, very dominant. And I don't think that that dominance is going to stop. I don't. I uh, This is really tough, because, you know, a team goes out and scores 70 points. It was against the Broncos, which the Broncos certainly don't have a bad defense. At least I don't think they have a bad defense. I don't think they should have a bad defense. But... It's in Buffalo, you know, Patri- or the Bills have a pretty good um, defensive backfield, I think it was what it's called. And, I mean, they picked off Sam Howell four times, which not really the most impressive thing to do in the world, but certainly an accomplishment to get four interceptions. So I'll just choose the Bills, and I think they should probably be winning this. And that is going to do it for today's video. I'm glad I could actually get this out um, today. Um, this is one of the weeks that I'll be able to do that. And oh, I'll probably not today. I'll probably do it, get it out on Thursday. But it's Wednesday right now. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you.
next time see you